Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> oh my gosh, excuse the, the belly. It's just water weight. It's just a little water retention going on. I know, look, I look like a tomato. You don't have to tell me. And, um, hi, don't I look really, I actually look really skinny in the face, don't I? <gasps> Model pose. Oh. Click the link down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. I actually look really skinny. My face, it's my hair. My hair's so cute. I don't know what's going on. It was a disaster when I was with Orlin, but now that I'm by myself, it's so cute. It's so attractive. Look at that. Look at that side sweep. Look at that shape. Look at that shape. I do it all by myself too. Do you guys know I cut my own hair? I haven't been to a hair cuttery place since I lived in Colombia, which was the, three years ago. And I stopped. Well, I never even really went even before that, but I did in Columbia because it was cheap. But I passed out. I'm afraid of razors and bzzz and whatever it makes me think of veins and needles. And when I think of them veins and needles, I pass out. So I look so attractive today. Oh my god. Like, can I be vain today, please? I'm not a very vain person in general, okay? I actually feel like I would do me. I'm like, hey. Uh, wait. I don't know what it is. It's the hair. It's the shape. It's my body. <laughs> okay, today we're doing Carl's Jr. They were actually very speedy. I'm very excited because I'm trying new items I've never had before. This is my first time ever. You guys know I'm a breakfast person. Well, it was like two minutes before breakfast closed. I'm like, ah! And I sped. Well, it had a, I had a half hour, but the, by, by the time I got there, there was like two minutes left. And they're like, I'm like, shoot. So I ordered, you guys know I hate biscuits. They have a lot of biscuits, it won't even bother. But they have a grilled cheese breakfast sandwich and they also have um, a cheeseburger breakfast bacon thing. So I'm really excited for this. Yay, oh my God, I'm so cute today. I don't know what it is. Well, I did get some high C punch. Hi, C. Oops, don't want this to fall. If this falls, that would be really bad. <laughs> okay, so um, cheers to a wonderful eating show, even though we haven't even unboxed this. Mm. You guys, I did Carl's Ch Jr. on Nikocado 3. Did you guys see that? I was really blown away by the quality. I was really taken aback. I was like, holy crap, this is way better than I remember. I wish they had that where I lived in Florida. Man. But guess what? Life is a journey. You start new chapters, and now I can eat it every week. Now, I did not check that everything was in the bag because they they threw everything on top of each other in one bag. I hate when fast food does that. Yeah, they're saving the trees and they're plastic, but guess what? All fast food's destructive in, in some sort of way. But in terms of checking that they didn't make any errors, it's very difficult. So, we got some onion rings. I'm gonna give these another try. I got two Chris Crutt waffle fries. They were so good. You guys probably remember, maybe you don't, maybe you do. And I got the little um, things again. Their Chris Crutt's fries are amazing. Like, oh my God, they're so tasty. And I got, this time I got jalapeno poppers. I didn't get that last time. And um, here's all my sandwiches. Ooh. It smells so good. You guys know I love breakfast food. It's not popular on YouTube, so I like to incorporate with other stuff. I don't know why people don't click it. Breakfast food is amazing. It's so comforting and yummy and sausage, seasoned bacon, and it, it, it eggs and ooh. No, no one wants to click that. What's in here? I forget what I ordered. Jalapeno poppers. Ooh, so exciting. And I got my little french fries. Their french fries were really blue. Ooh, look at this cream. Something's leaking. <gasps> I like these more than Burger King. Mmm. Yes. They had this like coating on it. How Burger King used to have. They took that out. When I was a child, back in the 90s. How many guys are 90 babies? 90s, where are you at? I'm 90s. 90s were so great. Everyone seemed to get along, but then again, I was a child, so I don't really know what happened. <gasps> but in my world, everyone got along in the 90s. We had that so Raven, and we had um, what else was really popular? Liz McGuire. Oh, oh, their ranch exploded. That's what happened. Ooh, I have extra ranch in here, mm. and they have a good ranch too. 
How did that explode? We got barbecue, we got buffalo. What's in here? <gasps> Their chicken tenders are so good. Way better than I ever thought they would be. Like, honestly, so amazing. So let's get this set up to be nice and pretty. Is this the food? I'm gonna have to move the camera closer to make it look bigger than it is. This is not, this is not okay. This is starvation. That's okay, I'll do another mukbang. I just am eating, eating, eating to my heart's content. Yay, here in Cambodianese. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move you, we'll move you. Okay, let's um, make this all pretty. So thank you for being here. Let's start the eating show. I'm hungry and I look so attractive today. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! Yay! We're back home as you do. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Shoo do. We're home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating Carl's Jr. Yay! Okay, you guys, this is really exciting because I love this place so much. I had a small, small, small little bite. Just a little piece. It was so tasty. <laughs> Cheers to a wonderful eating show. Ding, 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 ding. You guys, isn't this beautiful? I love Carl's Jr. <gasps> yeah! I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> I never drink sugary stuff. I thought maybe this would have vitamins. No, it's just sugar. I like vitamin water because it makes me think there's vitamins in there. I don't even know if there's vitamins in vitamin water. <clears throat> Anyways, before we get into the video, I want to do three big deep breaths. This is still really hot. This is really hot too. I'm keeping this in here. Um, this is the breakfast. Here. Well, these are both breakfast sandwiches, but real quick, just to relax a little bit and chill out because I'm very hyper of a person. And let's go, here we go. Breathe in all of your worries and anxiousness and breathe out, okay? We're here to chill together and have a good time. So breathe in with me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And release. It's gonna be okay, breathe in. Fill those lungs as deeply as you can and hold it. Hold it, hold it, and breathe out. One last time, breathe in. Let that air fill up those lungs and hold it, hold it, hold it, and out. Everything will be okay. Cheers. All right, well, see, I have a glove on because I was gonna use it for the burgers because they're really messy, but I'm thinking, what's the point about this hand open? Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, guess what happened yesterday? Their french fries are good. And they actually stuff it too. Mmm. Yesterday, I did a personality test. Mm hmm. Let's do a little. Uh, quiz. Do you think I have a personality problem? Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Let's open up some of these sauces here. We'll do ranch first. I did this thing. Have you heard of the Myers Briggs? Somebody told that to me a long time ago and I was like, oh, okay. Because they told me what personality they are. I'm like, I don't care, whatever. And I never heard that name again. Well, yesterday, I was at a friend's house. <clears throat> a special collab is on the way. Some of you already know who it is. The most you know, because we've never collabed before. I put this person on my Patreon, so if you want to see behind the scenes, go to my Patreon account. It's for grown-ups only. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are better than last time. Oh yeah, greasy. And you can see behind the scenes of my collaboration. And some vlogs around the, the house and everything. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! My friend 
said to me, you have a personality disorder. I'm like, shh. No, they didn't say that to me. They asked me what personality I am. I'm like, huh? <gasps> mm. These are so good. Mm. Oh my God. These, I remember my favorite, oh, come on. My favorite thing. Ah. Mm. So I said to him, I'm like, well, they told me they were R5Q2T for turbulent. I'm like, what does all this mean? So I went to this website where I did a personality test and I answered all these questions and some of them were like, do you like group projects or do you like working alone? There, oh. Carl's Jr. Let's do um, a Buffalo. Oh. I answer all these questions like, do you think of life after death often? Do you make lists? Do you get stressed when things go off stress uh, schedule? Do you feel bad? Do you, do you likely start crying when you see other people cry? Are you this? Are you that? It's a lot of questions. Oh my God, I can't even open this. Well, I'll show you what my result. Wow, they really glued this shut. I can barely open this. Oh my God. That was glued shut. Um, let's go back. Their, their chicken tenders are amazing. So I answered all these questions. It took about 10, 15 minutes. Oh. And. It turns out my personality top type, I'll read you the syllables for people who are really into this. It has like a whole thing, but they also tell you what it means too. It just, it like, oops, it kind of determines, not determines, predicts how you fare well with others, projects, career, love life, your personality. What email did I send this to? All inboxes sent. Where it, whatever. I was called the commander. It was like E. Oh, I know where to find it. Because I texted this to one of my friends. And she was like, what? No, she was like, yep, you are. Oh, here we go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should have had this pulled up. It's loading. Oh, my God. E N T J A slash E N T J T A means assertive, T means turbulent. I'm like 50 50. Turbulent, yeah. <laughs> but also very assertive. Like, I know what I want. <clears throat> so, in other words, I am the commander personality. A commander. And then it said all in the sidebar, it's like. Introduction, your strengths, your weaknesses, your romantic relationships, your friendships, parenthood, career paths, workplace habits, conclusion. It says I'm supposed to be a leader in the world, but I'm very stubborn. Um, I strive for perfection and my greatest happiness in life comes from achievement, not from like development and emotion, no, it's achievement. Which makes sense. Majored in performance, did violin, was acting, and now I'm a YouTuber. I am a hustler. I post 50 videos a month. No one else does that, you know. It makes total sense. When I was a kid, my dream was to be a director of like a Broadway show or a movie. I call the shots, I make the decisions. Oh my god, let's try. Oh my, my sandwiches. So. Mm. And that's a nice soft bun. I avoid anything with biscuits. You guys know this by now. This is the breakfast sandwich breakfast cheeseburger. There's hash browns. Oh my God, they have hash browns at this hour. Dang. I should have got hash browns. I love hash browns. Ketchup, egg, cheese, and hash browns with sausage. 
Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you know, so much of the time I prefer cheeseburgers, I mean, uh, breakfast sandwiches over regular cheeseburger. Mm. Let's do this one. This one is the sourdough. I kept it nice and warm. Does that shock anyone? Probably not. The assertive thing, well, no, it actually makes sense. I'm 50% assertive. I mean, I didn't think too far in depth about the questions. It could be a little flawed too, but. Mmm. This is no fall. The onion rings are way better this time. I was here the other day. The best thing about this place are their, their waffle fries and their chicken tenders. I've had so many chicken tenders in my YouTube career. These might be the best chicken tenders in fast food. And no one talks, no one ever does Carl's Jr. on the internet. Some people do, which they should do more of. Wow. The best chicken tenders. Better than Jollibee, and I'm the biggest Jollibee mascot. I look like it. Hmm. So anyways, I thought that was very interesting <clears throat> to have like a confirmation that I'm a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this, that. But I'm also, I feel like, I feel like I'm an empathetic person too. I, I understand people's feelings. I like to listen to people. I feel like I'm also very rational and reasonable. Reasonable. Hmm. Fried zucchini. If only they were long little French fried zucchini. So I prefer those over these round ones. But you know what? You can't get fried zucchini anywhere else. I love Carl's Jr. It's better than Sonic. Mm. Next time, I need to try their um, hash browns and they have French toast sticks. You know, I like Sonic French Toast Six, but I think Burger Kings are better. I'm sorry, every time I think of Sonic, I knock it down to the ground. The only thing I love about that place is their chili cheese fries, and chili cheese tots, and chili cheese hot dogs. Everything else is a no. No, ma'am. I saw this awful thing on Twitter. Uh, we're supposed to be calm in this video. It kind of went viral, you probably know about it. It was a girl, three girls in the back who are being really just horrible to this man driving. And there's just no excuse. They were in an Uber, they didn't put on their mask. Whether you agree with it or not, that's policy. Just do it, it's not gonna kill you, just do it. But the way they were speaking to him was like trash, just like, like bottom feeder, scum of the earth, trash type of behavior. You can tell they didn't really have good parents growing up. That's usually what produces these types of rats. <clears throat> No parents, no role models, no nothing. And encouragement and culture, you know, like music and um, maybe celebrities, Instagrammers, that kind of encourage you to be tough, to think you're gangster, to think you're so, you, you can be aggressive to everybody and you, you, you are just so wonderful and powerful. It's a really horrible look. It's like a, it's like a cockroach at the bottom of the ocean floor, just sucking up all the trash, you know. I actually got teary-eyed watching that video. Don't look it up. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, you don't. It was just. It was. Like she kept saying the N word too, and she's not black. And I'm like, and she was sit, sitting next to black people, and they were laughing and encouraging it. I'm like, wait a minute. How does this make sense? There's people in the media, celebrities cook chef, chefs, social media stars, who are canceled, lose careers for saying the N-word. And then you have people hang out with their friends, well, their friends give them a pass. I'm like, there's all these rules, what you can say, well, but this is allowed, well, I got a pass because my friend says it's okay. I, I, I just, no, no, no. And the, the other girls too are just as equally responsible. Because they encouraged it, they laughed about it, they egged it on. Uh, they they gave her the power trip, you know? Disgusting bottom feeders, scum of society. 
the video made me tear up. I was like, this is disgusting. And people like that get famous. People like that get famous, you know. For 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 being cruel. And playing the victim in every situation in life. It's like, ooh. It was gross. What she did was she, long story short, she was behind the, the taxi driver, the Uber driver. She reached out, yanked off his mask, started coughing in his face, which by the way, there's been cases of people treating that, at, well, I can't say the word on YouTube, but you can get prosecuted for that. And then they snatched his phone that was telling him how to drive so that he made them get out of his car. That's his property. He felt unsafe, get out of the car. And he gave them an opportunity to get out of the car previously at a gas stop and they refused to. So he kicked them out and they're on the highway. And now they're saying they're gonna sue Uber because they were left on the highway. It's like, wait a minute, but you assaulted somebody? <laughs> what, well, yeah, you're, you caused this. If you would have kept your mouth shut, like 90% of people that use Uber and Lyft, sit in the back, keep your mouth shut, look out the damn window, fold your hands and be, be a graceful woman. Just trash, ugh. It was so horrible to watch. I felt so bad for the guy. He has a fun rate, uh, GoFundMe now. Or people, because I think he quit Uber. He was just, Uber was offering $20 compensation for being assaulted. <clears throat> I'm being late for his next ride. They gave him 20 bucks. It was horrible. And then they came around and they up to a hundred something. This is why I read. This is alleged. I don't know for sure. Oh, let's do my sourdough melt. And then the girl who did all this no nonsense went onto her social media and was like, "Well, this is why I only use Lyft now because Uber is gross. They encourage this man to drop." Well, Lyft saw all these videos. They went viral, and they're like. Sorry, miss, we're banning you from our community, too. You got a pair of legs, use them, walk. <laughs> they didn't say that, but literally they're like, no, you're toxic. Don't, don't be clinging to us like we're supporting this. No, don't be name dropping us. Like, no, 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 you'll bring us up, you'll bring us into the conversation, we're gonna let you know that we, we're not associating with you. We're not engaging with you, you are banned. Good for you, Lyft. I've always heard better things about Lyft than Uber in general. I took Lyft a lot, um, and all the drivers say they prefer Lyft over Uber because the, the cut, the amount they get, the tips, the treatment, something like that. I always heard that Lyft is better than Uber for the employee's sake. Do they have a union or something? I don't know. This sandwich is good. Let's have another bite. Let me really focus. I'm so into this story because it's so disgusting. It's good. It's way better than a breakfast biscuit. It's creamy. It's egg, cheese, and sausage on sourdough belt. I love sourdough. You guys know. Hmm. I was gonna say I like this more, but now I really don't. The only thing, it's missing some ketchup. Put some ketchup on here and you're good to go. <clears throat> so, just horrible. It always saddens me to see young people attracted to just like deplorable behavior. They're so attracted to it. I don't I don't I don't understand. Obviously you have to be raised to think and believe certain ways and your view on the world, you know? But it's sad, it's what sets us back as Americans too. I mean, I have a really good friend that lives in Switzerland and two in Finland and they're just like, they cringe when they think of America now, they cringe. Oh. oh. Mm. 
These are so so tasty. Got it. I'm on the table, don't you worry. Hell upon your poppers are good. Eh, not as much as the zucchinis. Mm hmm The zucchinis are softer. Somebody is blowing up my phone right now. I'm not even gonna bother reading them, but it's just like too much. <clears throat> Everything's falling, oopsie daisy. That made me so upset. I was like, oh. It was like watching The Housewives. Like you can't look away, you get invested for 20 minutes, learning about what happened, watching videos, reading people's re and some people were defending. Well, we don't know the full context. What made her so mad? You think this, the, this is out of the ordinary that this person randomly just shuddered out of her normal character and this was just a bizarre, she was instigated so hard. This is probably how she normally is. This is her character, because you can tell by all her live streams and her Instagram feeds and her Twitter feeds, and she will go off and off and N-word after N-word and degrading after degrading, and um, she would say, I was taught not to people mess with me. People don't mess with me. I'm a gonna give it coming. It's just like, why do you think this is a great way to, to be? You know what I mean? Like, have some composure. You're gonna get reincarnated back into this world as a pig for slaughter. Have some grace. And the sad part is, they people like that don't see it. If you say that to them, like, this is not a great way to act, they, they get offended. It's a type of brainwashing. That's why upbringing is so important. That's why I'm so adamant about parents <clears throat> not having kids not having kids unless unless they're prepared to be a parent so many parents treat their children like handbags an object that you have and you lose interest and it's just there they do it because they feel like they need to have it they do it because it's great to show off oh look this is this is my baby girl or oh, this is my son it's like Just sad. Anyway, <clears throat> this is very dark energy. Let's cleanse this out. People like that will stay at the bottom of the ocean, picking up the scums and the grease and the slime. That's just what they do, you know. Unfortunately, there's a little part of our society, actually a big part, that glorifies behavior of people being cruel and instigatory and aggressive but I just can't I just you know there I'm just thinking in the, in the especially this past couple of years how many people have been canceled for saying the n-word when they have no business saying it to be cool to be edgy to be hip and with you know it's like no that's not right and then th this girl is blasting out the n-word she's not black and there's other people saying, yes, you go, girl. You, this is this is how you're supposed to be. Oh, yeah, good for you, Stanford. It's like you're not even concerned <laughs> that she's saying the Edward. What, but another person, maybe, she doesn't have blonde hair. She has black hair. Well, what if a blonde haired lady said, now you're going to cancel her. She has no career. She's disgusting. She said, well, it's a double standard here. It's so crazy. I will never understand what goes through people's minds. Horrible. But the saddest part is they have no idea. <clears throat> There's no like self awareness, you know. They they people like that they hear from somebody. They don't respect authority. They don't like authority, first of all. Second of all, they hear from somebody like think about the 
the beauty and the blessing of life and our purpose here on earth to make strangers smile, to help the poor, to encourage people to laugh, to do good deeds and to focus on things that truly matter. And they're over here like worried about like plastic stuff, like the best handbag, the best Gucci watch, the best showing off like this girl who was acting all trashy. Her, her social media was full of her posing in glamorous hotels and glamorous yachts and you know, Ch Chanel bikinis and Gucci this. It's like no soul. Uh, I mean, it's sad. <clears throat> And uh, that's just, it's very, 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 very hard to unwire someone like that. Because you'll be met with resistance. You'll be met with, well, let me be how I want to be. Okay. I believe people should be free to do what they want, but I don't think that freedom means there's no consequence for stuff. There's consequence. Freedom of speech, freedom of behavior. It's a great thing. Because it's met with resistance and consequence when your behavior and actions affect other people. I, w I literally cried watching that poor man get assaulted by those girls. <sighs> anyway, let's clear the energy. <sighs> um, well, hi from Candabonese. <laughs> man, oh, it makes me sad more than anything. I'm not angry, I'm sad. Like I'm actually like scared of like that type of, those types of people. Uh, they make me very uncomfortable. And they do it for no other reason than as a shield and as... <clears throat> it's how they're taught to survive. So how do you change it? You don't. I think the media should not glorify that though. That's what happens. That's why it spreads. Oh my god, will we ever live in a world without racism, without just horrible people? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, unfortunately. Anyway, let's try to, you know what? <clears throat> Someone that I really admire said to me once, You'll never be able to change the whole world. This is when I quit being vegan. I was very troubled with my direction in life, how I want to live and how I want to inspire others. I came from a past of wanting to help change others. <clears throat> I thought veganism was so life-saving and I wanted to spread the good news. You know, I, I preached, I preached and I wanted the world to all be the same and that's never gonna work. And anyway, long story short, Someone that I really admire told me to be what you find to be good in the world and the right people will be attracted to it. It will never be one religion, one language, one political view, one um, anything. It'll never, it, way of thinking, it will always be opposites and conflicting views and that's just how it's gonna be. You have to do what you feel is right that you really question and, you know, that's why I was vegan in the first place. I really thought about all this kind of stuff and attract the right people. And that's just the way to live. This person left me 24 messages while I was sitting here. <clears throat> Let's do more of the waffle fries. Well, anyways, it is very cold here. It's a cloudy day. After I eat this, I'm going to drive my butt to the Apple store. They were supposed to have my computer done in three days. It's been a week. I'm starting to get really upset. I know, luckily, I have a one-way ticket. I might be here for a year. Mm, but it's funny because when I took my computer to get fixed, the screen went black. Everything works fine. If you shine a flashlight on it, you can see that it still works. There's just the, the graphic card went out or something. Um, they literally, the man went back behind the counter, <clears throat> went back behind, you know, in their little closets. They came out of the closet. Oop. And he brought me a new screen. It was like in a box with a price tag. He's like, here it is. 
We have it in stock, we'll fix it. Should be about two to three days. And now I check, I do the Apple status. It says it's waiting for new parts. I'm like, well, if there was something beyond what they told me, why wasn't I notified? Why didn't I get the courtesy of an email or a call? Hi, we are gonna need more time beyond what we, we you were told. And uh, we're letting you know that this is what's happening next. Remember, I have to pay for this. I should be aware of what's happening. I mean, I do have Apple Care, but is there wa water damage? They should let me know. Is there, you know, I don't want to have to be left in the dark and be surprised with something. I don't like that. <clears throat> hmm. Anyway, this video is really interesting because. You know, I'm trying to be, I'm on my little soapbox here telling you how I feel about, you know, those people that went viral on Twitter for, be, for misbehaving. And what do I do for attention? Act like a fool. But here's the thing. <laughs> people, first of all, if they don't take me seriously, they wouldn't have made it this far anyway. They watch the dramatic intro. They watch me take up a couple bites, do some food fights with something silly and dumb. You know, throw noodles at each other. Ooh, wow. And then they leave. You know, those are not, if you're here watching it to the end, you think differently. I think you think more on the along the lines of how I think, perhaps, or I'm totally different than how you think, but you're intrigued. You know, that's actually how I've like, um, well, actually I won't go on that subject, but that's the best way to live. Watch things that you disagree with and maybe you'll change your view or you'll become more tolerant or understanding of people who are different. Um, that's why on The View, um, you know that show with Whoopi and stuff? I'm like, they need more, even if I don't agree with everybody, they need more, op it's just they all just repeat each other. Sit around in a circle and say, yep, he's bad, yep, he's bad. They, just, they need more, because it's, it's better for you to hear other stuff. They just sit there and echo each other and echo. I mean, yeah, some things, there's really not much to say, you know, someone does something horrible, deplorable, it's in the news, well, most people, you know, stuff like that, but anyway. <clears throat> so I know it's gonna be funny because I am a train wreck on the internet and people are like, well, you're one to talk. Look at what you, you know. But here's the thing, I'm an actor. I involve myself, me, myself, and I, my family. I'm not going after strangers throwing pizza in their face or strangers and pulling their hair. You know, this is my show and my, my set, you know, the, the, I'm not doing that in real life. People meet me in real life, they're like, you're so different. You're so tall, they say. You're so tall and you're so, wow, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I, I don't actually, people say all the time I go to the drive-thru, like, he talks normal in the drive-thru, wow. It's like, did you really think that like, I don't know what people think, but anyways, thank you for making it this far. If you made it this far, please leave. black heart a black heart in your comment because you know there's people in this world who have heavy hearts and there are people who have a lot of dark energy and they might be very bad and negative and aggressive like those people those those three girls on Twitter attacking that innocent cab driver um, but there's still hearts you know everyone's hearts beat and we all can feel a sense of love and sometimes people become that way by accident or by no fault of their own you know their parents told them to be this way they their guardians uh, the people in the school people there's there's a culture of children that just want to drop out they want to do drugs they want to um and it's kind of like they need help if anything but you can't help them it's just a sad case it's a black heart those are people with feelings and ideas, but if this is messed up, everything else is lost. And, uh, it's sad. Yeah. I, I was going to talk about this the other day when I first discovered it. I'm like, oh, this is really dark energy. And I was, I was so, see, I get very triggered when I watch that type of stuff. Like the real, not, not YouTube, not TV, not wrestling, re re Housewives, I mean, all that's all scripted too, anyway. I mean, like, when there's a surveillance camera showing something happening, or there's like, someone pulls out a phone in the middle of a protest and it goes ugly, like, that stuff really shakes me because that's, that's real, you know. Um, 
Anyway, thanks for listening to me on that. This got really sad. I don't know how to change the subject now. I just keep thinking, oh. Actually, one of my questions in my personality test was, um, I think deeply about things that I cannot change. Yep, <laughs> I do. I wish I could change, but it's, it's hard accepting the fact that you can't change. Um, that was one of my growing pains as a vegan, kind of learning, you ain't, you ain't changing anyone. <laughs> You're not maybe two or three, a couple people, but it's gonna be on their own accord. That's when it's the most meaningful. You don't wanna force anyone to anything, and you don't wanna shock them to death where they're like, oh, I feel like I, you know what? The, the most substantial change is when people do it on their own initiative. And it's a hard thing to come to terms with because when you believe in something as being good or better than what you see around you, it hurts. And I think that's a reflection of you having a heart and having, it could also be a reflection of a mental disorder. I mean, there's a lot of religious fanatics that do the same thing <laughs> and they will go by force if they don't also start believing how they believe. So anyways, well, who sent me 30,000 messages in this video? I have my phone on silent or, well, it's usually on silent. I, I carry my phone with me everywhere, but I'm trying to like look at less and less in videos. I think it's just so, it distracts with what I want to say on camera. Um, this was so delicious. I am a big fan of Carl's Jr. I mean, I always was. But they don't have that in Orlando. You know, they don't have that in Philadelphia. Do they have, I think they have a Hardee's. But they're, there's not that many. It's not like McDonald's, you have to drive far or whatever. It's, that's not as common. And I think it's so delicious. Um, where's the, did I eat all of them? Oh, here's one. I like these little things. Mmm. The best chicken tenders are, come from here. It's crazy to me. Oh! That is all my... my. Yeah, it's very cold here. I'm not putting the heater on. They have heating, obviously, here, but I like the cold. Except for my chapped lips. Actually, after this video, I'm gonna go to Walgreens. Actually, I'm gonna go to the mall. Go to that Apple store. Ask about the status of this computer, and then buy some chapstick while I'm there. Maybe do a vlog for my patrons. I've been doing a lot of vlogs here. Oh my God, cameo. Recognize my face, please. Oh my goodness gracious. Sometimes it does not work. Anyway. Last bite. Actually, no, last, last bite. <laughs> what's this? I don't know what's up. These are good. Excellent. Delicious. Wow. So tasty. So good. This, I ate literally the whole sandwich and then I ate half of this. This is good. Mmm. I also just love it for sandwiches. Well, anyway. You know why I feel extra confident today? I feel like my hair 
How my hair is today is how I think it should be at all times. You know how your hair is constantly moving and shaping and growing and sometimes it goes this way and it shouldn't and my hair right now is perfect. Like if it could just never grow and stay like this at all times, it's a perfect shape. It's edged close to my head and then the, the widow's peak looks cool. Like it just, it looks so good today and I feel very proud of my hair. <laughs> I did it all myself. I literally was, in, well, I mean, it's a hotel, so I have to not to be too careful, but I have to plug in the little the razor thing. I just did the, all the edges in the shower. I didn't even have a mirror. I just, I've done this so many years that I know where to go, where to stop. Er, er, level six, er, level two, or er. And this, I use scissors, and I literally cut diagonal lines like this to make a teepee. The, the hardest part is this area. Getting back there and shaping it. Oh, you need double mirrors and everything, but... The maids were not very happy, but that's how it goes. Okay, I'm paying here per night. You can sweep up my hair. <laughs> they hate me, oh my God. I'm, someone's gonna make a video that they were the maid for my hotel and they're gonna be like, he had all this hair all up in here. I was, it was, it was in the shower, I washed it down, it's fine. <clears throat> all right, bye everyone. Thank you for spending time with me. This was so exciting and delicious. I'm off to do a vlog for Patreon. Please consider following me there. Um, I have behind the scenes of a collaboration. Uh, lots of photos and videos, and uh, it just is another way to support me if you're ever inclined to, you know. This is my life. I wake up and breathe YouTube every day, 24-7, 365 days of the year. I, every day I am here, and I've never given up on you guys. Even when I feel like giving up on myself, I don't. And, you know, if you feel like supporting me a little bit extra, that's a place you could do it, and it means a lot. And you get a lot in return. So if you want to consider it, thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Leave a black heart if you made it this far. I appreciate your time. Bye. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video, and a bigger thank you to my new executive producer, Leslie Jeppesen. If you'd like to become a producer and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself a personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Bye.